That's right. If you're a user of TradingView, you can come to the indicator section and you can type a fractal and you will find some pre-built indicators, fractal indicators. But this concept is by Bill Williams. So TradingView has an inbuilt indicator called Williams Fractal. If you plot it, it will give you these arrows. I personally don't like it because the size of the arrows, I cannot change them. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to do this exercise once more. Try and plot this one. These arrows are much, um, much smaller. And there you go. These are the um, fractal highs and fractal lows. Now, I can together, we can make some sense that, listen, whenever I'm planning to draw a line, I'm going to draw and join these fractal highs only then there'll be some meaning to it. So let's try and do this together. This is where the talk the chart is at the current juncture. Let's go from right to left. Let's go from the present and let's go back on the left hand side of the chart towards the past history of price move. And let's find out where were these fractal highs and lows. There might be many of them depending on the price behavior. Let's start with the lows. To draw a line, how many points do you need? Y equal to MX plus C? You need two points. And so I can come to this indicator section, go to trend line, come to this more or less this low and join this low. Yeah. Double click on this and say, uh, extend, extend right towards the right. And because I'm joining the lows, I'm expecting supports. So let's say I give it a green color or a blue color so that the color coding will make me understand that this is a support line. This is from where if this stock comes down in the future, I can expect it's not that it's going to give me, but I can expect.